Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to make some easy green enchiladas. And right here I just have some of the ingredients I'm going to be using. And then in this pot, I have some um, chile serranos, onion, half an onion, and about 10 tomatillos boiling. And I'm just going to boil them until they start getting very soft, like shown in the clip. And in this bowl, I have some chopped up cilantro from the day before. Um, I believe this is about like half a cup maybe, maybe a cup. And then right here I, I am smashing up some ch uh, ch Mexican cheese and making it very crumbly for a topping. And then after those ingredients are done getting soft, I'm going to pour them into the blender. And then add the cilantro. And like I said, that was probably like around a half a cup, maybe three fourths of a cup of chopped cilantro. And then I'm going to be adding some of this um, chicken flavoring. And I added about a tablespoon and a half of it. And then with... Oh, here's my cute husband bringing me some cozy coffee. This was our new fire mango drink, and it was so good. Yeah. So with the water that I used to boil the chicken, I saved some of that, and I used about a cup of it so I could blend it with these other ingredients and added some garlic salt to it as well. I don't use exact measurements just because, like... I don't know, I guess us Mexicans, we never use exact measurements. We just kind of eyeball it and then hope it comes out good, which it usually always does. And I did um, blend it for about three to four minutes just to make sure everything was grinded together. And with a very wide bowl like this, that's where I'm placing the salsa. Just so it can be easier to be dipping the tortillas in. And it really smelled so good. And then in a frying pan, I'm going to be put, pouring in a bit of oil in there. And then using a glass casserole to put the enchiladas in there. So the first thing I did is grabbed about 15 tortillas and I put them in the microwave for 30 seconds to soften them up. And then after that, I grabbed one tortilla and started dipping it in the green salsa and started and then put it into the pan with oil. And I only left it there for a couple seconds because I didn't want my tortilla to be too soft um, and break apart. So uh, I, that's why it was only there for like a couple seconds. And then I'm going to put some chicken in there and start rolling up that tortilla like a little taquito. And then we're just going to keep repeating the steps until you've achieved how many enchiladas you want. So again, I just dipped the tortilla back and forth in the salsa and then pouring it into the frying pan and you don't have to use chicken if you don't want to I've seen a lot of people like use um, chopped up potatoes and carrots basically you can put any filling you want but for mine I put chicken in it and like I said I just repeated those same three three or four steps for every single one until I let you how many I want and after that I did have some enchiladas I mean <laughs> I did have some salsa left over and so I decided to pour it on top of the enchiladas and then before all this I did preheat my oven for 350 because I am gonna bake these You can just eat them like that. You don't have to act, um, bake them. But I like mine better baked just because they get more like warmer. I feel like they cook the tortillas better and then it melts the cheese. And then I just grabbed my favorite um, shredded cheese. I use the Mexican cheese. And it has like three blends of different cheeses. So that's the one I like to use best. And I put a lot of it because I do love a lot of cheese.
and then I go ahead and pop it into the oven and for 10 minutes on a 350 setting. So after that, this is how they came out. They came out so good, guys. Like, I'm not even lying. They came out so good. But this is how I make my enchiladas. And yeah, and I did top it off with some lettuce and some cheese. You can also put some sour cream, but I didn't have some at the time. But this is how it came out to look. So you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And thank you guys for watching.